To be perfectly honest with you, I don't know where we are. Ah, a nice view though. We're in, um, oh, on the western side of the Brecon Beacons, north of Swansea, and a few miles south of Sunnybridge. And um, I'm gasping for a cup of tea. Nothing going on here, is there? So, anyway, without any further ado, we shall make a move. Do you ever get one of those days where nothing seems to go right on the bike? I don't know, I don't know what it is, but uh, I was trying to go round a roundabout earlier and I, I looked up, looked back, and I thought, oh my bloody God, almost missed... Uh, you know the curve going around a roundabout oh gee all over the place all over the place not good at all we're on the a4067 i think and that's danagra uh, danaragoff caves and there's a, a bit of a horsey place here as well where they got horses very nice I just thought I'd come out for a quick ride and uh, suddenly I found myself up in the Bracken Beacons. Although this is sort of extreme western part of it. I'll probably drop down uh, back into Brecon and uh, I'll have a cup of tea at Terry's, maybe. See what happens. And, uh, well, it's quite nice. It's a weekday again. A lot of my time off is in the week. My last... Um, video I put up was in 4k I'm not really sure that it's worth doing that it, it seems to take forever for YouTube to process it um, and if I tell you it was almost two days it's well into the second day of processing after the video had um, uploaded it uploaded in about like two and a half hours it was a 12 gigabyte file, two days just about to process. The video before the last one was in 2.7K. Yeah, that Mustang there. And, uh, and that took a day as well, a whole day to process. Yeah, it's nuts, isn't it? Just look at this, eh? I'm not quite sure. Look, I'm um, on the sat nav. We're coming up to Sandy Bridge. Yeah, I think when we get to Sandy Bridge, we just turn right and uh, follow the A40 back towards um, Brecon direction. There's some nice cottages there, isn't there, eh? It's um. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. I just, uh, I, I'm going to stop here, turn around, because I actually missed, uh, missed my turning. <laughs> Mirth of Tidville. Here we go again, look. As I say, people see, think I'm uh, giving them a rude sign here, but I'm not. I'm trying to get life back into my fingers. Well, not my fingers, but my uh, my hand. Can't believe this. I think it's going to rain. Look at that. That is Panavan over there. Look. The peak of Panavan, and I think next to it is Kumdi. Or something I can't remember now. Come D, something like that. You could live here, couldn't you? This is beautiful. Look at it. Very nice. Very beautiful. But really, you know, isolation is the name of the game. All right. So we go down here now. We're going to turn right and. Uh, 
hopefully it won't be long before we can have a cup of tea at uh, Terry's Burger Van. Okay, all over the place again. Ah, welcome to Terry's Burger Bar. We're gonna have a bit of a cup of tea here and a burger, I think. Just look at this. Can't give me the fright of my life. I thought my bike was falling over. Well, that was a nice burger and uh, and a bit of a chat to another fellow biker who was driving a, a truck. Yeah, past half an hour. That road, if you can see that truck and the cars, that's the A470 that goes from Brecon all the way down to Cardiff. Well, actually it goes uh, all the way to North Wales, but um, for the purposes of my trip here, it goes from Brecon to Cardiff. And this is the A4059, I think. Uh, which is a nice road, as you can see. It's been re-tarmacked, resurfaced. Looks lovely. But you do have to watch out for livestock on the... Uh, on the road. So, oh, we shall, uh, we shall continue. Oh my God, don't you just love this? Okay, <laughs> sometimes I have to actually tell myself I'm not, uh, I'm not a Valentino Rossi. <laughs> anyway, I'm on my way home now, uh, and the good news is I feel a lot better in regards to being on the bike than I did earlier. It's funny how it goes, isn't it? Perhaps I just needed the burger and, uh, a nice cup of tea. Oh, don't you just love it? See, you've got to watch these uh, sheep. Sometimes they, they just lie down in the middle of the road. And, uh, thank you, sir. I wouldn't want to be hitting one. Ah, there's always a car or something in the way, isn't there? My ears have just popped. We're climbing, climbing up the old mountain here. Oh, anything coming here? No. Ah, there we are, I feel better now. Uh, 
there's this uh, little white brick built building here on the left I, uh, I explored that in one of my earlier videos that one there there I'd love to know what it was originally used for. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it was due to do with the mines or... I expect so. Big mining area here. Years gone by. So I've been thinking about getting a new helmet. The one I got now, sir is about roughly give or take a year or two eight years old and uh and it's showing signs of uh, signs of being eight years old so i really could do with a new one i don't know what to get i've been looking i've been looking at shoe birth because they're they're so quiet but i don't want a modular type helmet i want uh a full face so they got the shoe berth s2 i think but that in itself is an old design now it's been out a, a long time so there's a gt air 2 uh, which is the upgrade from what i got now but i don't like it because they're, they're forcing you to have the senna comms in it I've got nothing against having this Senna or Cena comms, um, but I've already got the Cardo system on on the helmet now, and I don't want to spend another 250 quid on uh, on replacing it. So I don't think I'll be having a GT Air 2, <laughs> as good a helmet as it is. So the obvious uh, other ones I've looked at is the the Shark um, Shark uh, Spartan GT and all that. Thank you. And uh, I'm sure it's a fine helmet, but I've also heard it's quite noisy. So um, I don't know. Anyway, look, I'll say goodbye now because um, we're back into the head, uh, the top of the valleys here, the Bridgend Valleys. Um, I got about 10 miles before I'm home. And, uh, and that will be that till the next video. So listen, hey, this was only a, you know, um, a, a quick run out where I didn't really have any ideas on where I was gonna go. Anyway, all right, I'll say goodbye. It's I'll catch you all uh, next time. Thanks very much. And this highway keeps going on and on.